According to the World Health Organization, preterm birth complications are the leading cause of death among children under five. Micro preemie births are the most rare, and those who do survive can face a lifetime of struggle. GMA 3 now with some babies born at just 22 weeks who are still going strong. My name is Ty Skelis. I'm a neonatologist at Winnie Palmer Hospital for Women's and Children. I specialize on the very small babies. So here at Winnie Palmer Hospital, we have a tiny baby program that care for babies, the smallest of the smallest. So babies that are born at 22, 23, and 24 weeks gestation. Diana is our smallest baby to have survive Winnie Palmer Hospital. She was born at 22 weeks gestation. We're talking about a, a very complex premature baby. Because of her, we have to develop many guidelines and protocols just to care for her. I know we helped her, but she's also helped the program. On May 10th of 2020, I gave birth and I saw her and I saw how small she was. Diana weighed only 350 grams when she was born. So it was very surreal to see this tiny human being in the hospital and we were not sure what was gonna happen after seeing how small she was. Happy birthday to you. Coming together as the what I like to say, the 222 fam, all the 22 weekers. It was so nice to meet other mamas that have gone through pretty much the same thing that I went through and who understand the experience that we all went through during this, what felt like a very uncertain time. Diana is basically unrecognizable, comparing her to when she was born now. She demonstrated her will to live and she continues to be charismatic and loving and our little miracle. The steeper the mountain, the harder the climb, the better the view from the finish line. One of the first things that they told us is day by day, another day is a celebration. Just never give up on these little miracles. They are stronger than we think. Working with Dr. Khalees was the best thing that could have ever happened to us. Dr. Khalees was there the day that Diana was born, and he was there the day that she was discharged. That is the reason why we still keep in contact with him. I get teary, I don't know why. I get emotional, give me a second. It's impossible not to connect with the families. We're part of them now, we're part of these children's lives. To be able to experience that with the families is just, just unbelievable. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.